Hello and welcome back. This is David from the Personal Finance Squad. We just went through section 1.43. That was the savings account. This is the general savings that Jasper chose for an arbitrary number to put money away for more short-term things that could happen in three, four, five, six months or a year. Now we're going to go on to something very important as well in a budget. Miscellaneous items. This is a category that's self-made up. But what miscellaneous items means is these are items that you can't account for. These are the unknowns that you don't see. It's kind of a, a mini thing to the emergency fund. However, the difference is with miscellaneous, you're still working. Miscellaneous account can apply to several things. Well, what happens when the dishwasher breaks? Where are you going to have money to pay for that? You see, got a few examples here in our dialogue. We see that uh, Jasper's car has a flat tire or the microwave breaks and needs to, to replace it. So again, these are just a few examples. You can think of several. If you just put your mind to it and think of how many things that you've seen your, your parents pay for on your own budget if you have one, uh, that just, they just it seems like there's always something going on. If you're a homeowner, there's always something going around the house, right? So these are to cover the things you don't think about. But I love this account because when it happens, you have the money there and then you don't think that I have to go grab money from somewhere else to go pay for it. So why not just have the money there? Now again, this is an arbitrary thing. These are things you have to decide with all these savings vehicles of how much money you need to put in there. So you can see right here that we're going to dedicate $165 a month. So 165 on or about times 12 equals two grand. Now, again, you might go, listen, I, that's too much. I, I, I can't do that much, or I don't think I need that much. You might live in an apartment. You might have a lot less things to pay for if in terms of uh, you know just living. So you might say, I need 100, I might need 80. Again, these are things you can decide. So if we scroll down here a little bit, we're back to the, the prevailing number that we are working with for Jasper, and he has 1,083 left, and we're taking off 165, and that leaves 918. But Jasper at this point is still in good shape. He still has 918 to work with. Now we do have a few more savings vehicles to go through, and then uh, we will lead into um, what he has left over after that for his spending money. So thanks for joining, and we will talk to you in the next video.